Hello everybody, this is Dr. Bob DiMaria with another episode of Ask Dr. Bob in Naples, Florida and Westlake, Ohio. I really want to talk to you about colon issues, especially pain on the right side of my colon and a lot of gas in the morning. I canceled my appointments and, and got a colonoscopy because I want to heal myself naturally. The reason I read that whole question, it's a very common challenge. So the lower abdomen on the right side, there's actually something called the ileocecal valve. And with me, instead of me going into great detail, why don't you do a little search on that on your own? Anytime that I have someone with a lot of colon issues, you ask questions like, is there blood in the stool? Do you have dark tarry stool? Do you have mucus in your stool? When do you get the digestive distress? It's not wrong to have various types of traditional modalities done, but a FIT test, F-I-T, it's a food sensitivity test, is definitely a good place to start. I know there's other fecal testing that you can do that's not invasive. If you have a food sensitivity, you can have abdominal pain. Dr. Bob, what type of apple should we eat or does it matter? I eat organic apple crisp. I have learned, and I'm not saying you should or shouldn't eat Granny Smith, but part of when I was doing my studies for my natural health degree, I read a book about cancer, and they just, one of the authors mentioned about that Granny Smith or green apple, sour apple, could stagnate digestion. I choose not to eat Granny Smith. Uh, Dr. Bob, they wanted me to do a video on what I consume, been watching me for a long time, and you just want to know what I'm doing. Well. I use a water filter system in my house. I use Celtic sea salt, and I focus on non-starchy green vegetables that are organic and protein. My wife and I will saute or we'll roast vegetables and we'll add some kind of organic animal product uh, as a part of that solution. I probably do that 90% of the time. I'm gonna have a salad for lunch today with organic tissue. Um, today I think I'm going to have eggs with my uh, salad. So that's basically what I do on a regular basis. So someone had a five-year-old daughter that has seasonal allergies. They've been fighting it off and on for a few weeks, cough, etc. Anytime that somebody has allergies, child or adult, I always look to see what they're eating. Dairy, peanut butter, wheat, sugar, place an unusual demand on the body resulting in a histamine reaction, causing you to have some of those body signals. So histamine can be metabolized in the intestine, the liver is an integral part of that. And one last thought, last thought when it comes to these seasonal allergies, sometimes it could be a low thyroid gland without enough iodine. And the best way to test for that is to have a thyroid panel done with a TSH T3 and a T4. Dr. Bob, what are the little white moons on the nails tell you about your health? So I did a little bit of research on this for you because you know when, back when I was going to school they always talked about the little moons. Um, there's a name called Lunula which is a little moon. The lady said that people have them on their fingers and not necessarily on hers. You know I might suggest you have a CBC with a differential see how your oxygenation is doing, if you don't have any moons at all, it could just be a sign, they didn't say for sure, that you might not be in the best of health, maybe not have normal health, but there could be definitely some absorption issues going on in your body. Very good questions, I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria.